I'm standing beside an apricot tree I planted about two years ago and this is the second year in the training process and as you can see here there's quite a bit of new growth on the top uh, some of these branches are up to four feet long and if you look along the main branches where I did some bench cuts to shorten the branches a little bit and also to uh, get them to branch out you can see there's quite a few branches on here and there are both uh, flower and vegetative buds here so I could get a couple of apricots if I allow them to be on the tree this year. So what I'm going to do is trim these back and take out some wood that shouldn't be here and this pruning shouldn't take more than about 10 minutes. So let's get right to it. On the lower part of the tree I'm going to take out branches that are in bad positions. I don't want any competition with the first tier of branches that I had. So for instance, this one down here, this one right here, this one over here, these are gonna be removed. Also this one right here. Uh, <clears throat> so we're gonna get these out right now. We'll just let them drop to the ground and I'll pick them up in a little bit. Also, as I said, when I was pruning the um, apple trees, I like to get branches that are growing straight up like this one and this one. Branches that are growing back into the tree, I don't want that, so those are gonna be taken off also. This one over here. Although if I had some flower buds here and I wanted to just trim this back and get some flowers and fruit there, I could do that. This one here is gonna be taken out also. Again, branches that are growing straight up. And straight down. If it's kind of slightly down, I'll wait and see how that develops. Now this, this branch right here, I'm gonna leave and see what it does. It probably will grow into that, but I'm not sure, these may be flower buds. I'll have to wait and see what they do. Oh, I see I have a little deer damage over here. Right there. I need to put a cage around this tree. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is start developing the next tier of branches. This branch here is going more toward the inside. I don't need it. It's a strong branch, but I just don't need it. This branch here, even though it's a fairly narrow crotch angle there, I'm going to keep it. And there's also a smaller one that's going out in an area that I could keep it, but I don't think I will because it's going to be shaded anyway. It's in a decent spot though. So I could spread this branch somewhat. I can't do much about the branch angle here, uh, but I can spread it and send this branch in this direction. Although I do have this one over here that it's going in that direction. So I have some decisions to make there. Now my leader is going to be this one here. And the reason I'm choosing this one as the leader is because it's toward the central portion of the plant here and more side branches can develop from that. Um, so nothing can be stronger than this one in terms of height. So this one's going to have to be trimmed back. So now I'm gonna to have to decide what I'm going to save and what I'm going to cut out 
and then these are going to be trimmed back uh, by bench cut to a side bud so that they'll grow out and start to branch also. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is trim back the leader a little bit to a bud, 45 degree angle here. And the reason I'm doing that is so that these side buds will break and start to send out more branches. Then the next thing I want to do is decide what branches I'm actually going to keep here of the second group. And I'm just going to be bold and take this one out because this one is still close by. So I don't need that. I have three branches in a row here close together. I want a little bit more spacing so I'm going to take this one out. Now, I'm going to keep all of these here. So what I'm going to do is trim these back and I want to trim them back to a bud that's going to allow them to grow in the direction I want them to go. I'd prefer to have the bud toward the side or the top because otherwise what you end up having is a situation like this where you'll have the bud growing down and then back up. You see that in some of my apple printing videos. Now if you're not sure which one you want to use, just make a shortcut and then go back and trim it where you want it to be trimmed later. But I think I'll just go ahead and make my cuts. I'll cut this one about oh, here. I want it shorter than my leader. Then I'm going to cut this one shorter. There's a bud that's going to go out in this direction. I'm going to cut this one over here shorter. And oh, there's a flower bud right there, so I'm going to leave that one. And I'm going to cut it back to, oh, there's another flower bud. Okay, I'm moving up a little bit so I can get just a couple of apricots this year. And then I'm going to trim this one so it goes in that direction over there. Trim this one so it comes out in this direction over here. Now they don't always do what you want them to do because sometimes a bud will die and you have to make some corrective pruning later. Now this I would normally trim back. I, I want the lower branches to be out farther than the higher branches but there's some flower buds on here so I'm just going to leave this for now and we'll see what develops. And then this one is almost as high as the leader, and I don't want that. And so I'm going to trim this one, and I want it to go out in this direction. So I'm going to find a bud that's going to go out in that direction. And my cut is about a quarter inch above the bud and at about a 45 degree angle. So I take a look at the tree now. There is one branch down here at the bottom that I'm going to take out still. This one right here comes out in this direction and then kind of goes over and up and then it comes around this way and I don't like the way it looks so I could take out the whole branch but what I'm going to do just for now is take this one out and see if it looks better after this year's growth. If not, I may take it out. So this branch needs to be trimmed back. This, this one right over here needs to be trimmed back. But because I can possibly get some apricots on it, I'm going to do that. So this is all the trimming I'm going to need to do on this tree for this year. And I am pretty much finished.